Welcome back everyone. Today we've got a command block creation and it's a maze generator. Now this version, the first one I'm going to show you, is actually a very similar version to one created by Dr. Brian Logon111 in a recent video where he showed a, a maze generating algorithm which looks very similar to this. So as you can see it runs around this uh, black wall and maps out a random maze and if we hit this it cleans it up and if we reset and do it again we'll get a different pattern this time and it's based off of a uh, maze algorithm which uh, just takes random turns wherever it can go and then when it hits dead ends it backtracks until it can take a different path eventually it'll get back to the start and uh, and that'll be finished. Um, it keeps track of which direction the start is with these pistons, basically pointing in different directions to direct it which way to backtrack. Um, and so we can clear those out and we get our pattern. But at the end of the video that Brian was showing this off, he suggested that you could make a 3D version. And I thought that was an interesting challenge. So that's what I'm going to show you next. So this is my 3D version, and my first thought was I wanted to make it so that it would actually just fill in the maze in air. So the initialization, we just put a, a single glass block with the armor stand, and I've basically created a big box out of barriers, which will uh, stop the maze from just going crazy and filling in the entire world. So yeah, it operates on the same principles basically, but in three dimensions. So <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Now instead of pistons to uh, keep track of the direction that, that's back to the beginning, I'm um, using uh, different colored glass blocks. So each different colored glass block indicates a different direction for the algorithm to, to backtrack when it needs to. Um, clearly this one takes a little bit of time. <laughs> Uh, to fill in, I made the I made the area a little large, I think, uh, but it looks pretty cool. Um, but let's just uh, watch it fill in. All right, it's finally reached back to the beginning. So now it's filled in every possible uh, path that it can fill in in this cube. <laughs> I would like to try and navigate that maze. That's pretty insane. It looks really cool though. But uh, yeah, so after I made this, I'm like, I was, it's really fun, but it's not very practical. So I thought, how about, what if we can make a maze, a 3D maze that you can actually walk into once it's generated and you know try to complete the maze so that's what we're up next okay so here we are in a fresh world and that's because I've actually made a single command block uh, contraption for this so you can get the command out of the out of the description paste it into a new command block and then activate it and it will summon a whole ton of command blocks and build the contraption for you so you'll have to wait until it's finished and it'll tell you when it has. Just a minute. Here we go. Okay, so it's created this big block of glass and that's what we're gonna be carving the maze out of. And all we've gotta do is push this button and it'll start generating, so let's check it out. We've got an entrance here and we've got a armor stand in diamond armor whizzing around creating the tunnels and branches and it's it's basically identical to the one we just saw except it's making two by two tunnels and that, and it's obviously creating air in a in a solid material as opposed to a solid material in air so that means that once this is done we'll actually be able to go through those doors and try out the mace so let's wait for him to finish done and the doors open on their own we can just wander in, and obviously, because this is a 3D maze, we're going to need to be able to fly. 
so creative mode is the best and yeah well one this size actually is a little bit frustrating i've tried it a few times to uh to do the maze usually at the beginning like there's only a, like one way to go and then it starts branching and then you've then you get into trouble <laughs> so we're, we're aiming for that red door over there that's the exit um and we've got to try and find our way there so how about I'm going to speed this up and see if I actually manage to get out of here. Oh no, I thought I'd made it. Maybe, yes. Ah, uh, yes, I made it. All right, that one wasn't actually too bad. Obviously because they're random, they, you know, you could get a really easy one, you could get a really hard one. And so if I push this button again, it's gonna reset and it's gonna draw us a new, a new maze. Uh, so every time you do it, it's gonna be different. But I really like this. It's, um, it's pretty cool. I love how how you can do something quite complex like this with, you know, not that many command blocks. And honestly, quite a few of these command blocks are just to do the fancy stuff like making the doors and the exit and, you know, making them open and close and stuff that, you know, stuff that's not really uh, required for the actual mechanism of the maze. It's not really that many more command blocks than the 2D version. Okay, well, if you want to give this a try, uh, check out the description. There'll be a paste bin with the command that you can just paste into a command block and generate this for yourself. But to leave off, I think I'm going to actually try something else, which is take the other 3D maze, the more colorful one, and I might actually remove all the barriers so that it will be unconstrained and just fill up the world and uh, might do a time lapse of that and see see what crazy things happen. <laughs> Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>